apply the brush, brush, brush. I apply the brush, brush, brush. I apply the brush, yeah, brush, brush. I apply the brush. What's that word, family? Hey, man, check this out. Folks, I want y'all to do a little imagining with me, right? Imagine you're an 18 year old kid and your favorite artist is doing a concert in a city near you. You decide to take your girlfriend and everything's going great. It's about to be a beautiful night filled with wonderful memories. You drive there almost an hour to get to the city. You can't find no place to park. When you finally find some place to park a couple of blocks away, you get out the car, you hold their hands, and you walk in. You can see the building that the concert is going to be held in, and everything's looking good. Until you turn to your side and you see what appear to be human beings. But as you get closer, you realize that they are not human beings. They are demons. And they decide to walk up to you and take your stuff. What do you do in this situation, folks? Well, I'm going to tell you how I played out for this 18-year-old Elgin kid. Let me play this video, and I'll be back with more news and commentary. A tearful Thomas Kendall simply devastated that his little brother's life was cut short. 18-year-old Jess Kendall was shot and killed last night. His older brother saying Kendall was with his girlfriend blocks away from the United Center on their way to see a Lil Dirk concert when they were robbed. They're walking on the way to the concert, and, and then four guys come, you know, two on bikes and two on feet. They got masks on. Kendall says the suspects took the couple's belongings and shot Jess, who later died. Kendall saying Jess's girlfriend borrowed someone's phone to tell him what happened. Two other teens were also wounded in the shooting. Kendall believes they were bystanders. The news of Jess's death hitting his community of Elgin hard. He cut grass in the neighborhood. He did small jobs for old people in the neighborhood. You know, everybody loved the kid. Jess was a senior at Elgin High School, loved cars, and wanted to go to automotive school. His older brother saying they saw each other every day. I never thought I would see, you know, rest easy. Jess posts on social media, you know, and it's home. Try it. All right, so um, a spokesperson for the school said that grief counselors will be on campus to help kids that are devastated by this situation, ladies and gentlemen. Lil Durk threw a historic concert that night in which he honored fallen soldiers from Chicago. And this young man right here and this young lady, their life will forever be changed because he's not here no more. And she's left with the memories of what happened to her boyfriend trying to take her to Chicago, man. Now, these are the three people that were shot outside of Lil Durk's concert. As you heard, it was two other people suggested to be innocent bystanders that were also shot in this situation. Folks, let me tell you this, man. It ain't worth it. Your life is bigger than a concert. Going to see these drill rappers can be a dangerous thing. Going to see any rapper can be a dangerous thing. And that's sad, man, that this kid came from the suburbs. And one thing about it, his skin color will get this case solved. Those four young men who were involved in this whole entire situation, they lost their lives as well to the prison systems of Illinois. It's just crazy to me that nobody can do anything nowadays, man. It's too much tragedy going on in the black community. And that's why I'm glad that Lil Dirk is starting to reach out and say, hey, let's have peace. I just wish he would have did this when Cash was alive. I wish he would have did this when Duck was alive. Let's have peace in our communities. This shouldn't happen to nobody. Should nobody go to a concert expecting to enjoy themselves end up Dead, man. I know for a fact, the four gunmen, they're going to do life just because that guy was white. But it should happen all the time. It should happen when you do something to a black person. And that's what's wrong with our society. 
when black people kill black people, you get 10, 15 years, you back on the street, you still young, you will do it again. But when they kill a white person, they might get life. And the life took it could only end with another life took it. Tell me how y'all feel about this. I'll be back later with more news and commentary. Peace. Yeah, brush, brush, I apply the brush.